Beautiful video. The woman in that video is about the same age as my mother. Black baby dolls weren't available in the 1940s and 1950s when my mother and that woman were children. If they wanted a doll, their only option was to buy a white baby doll. When I got my first Cabbage Patch doll, I asked my mom what type of doll she had when she was a child, and she got very agitated. She said she didn't like dolls, never wanted a doll, because the only dolls available were white dolls. She had no desire to dote on a baby doll that resembled the people that, at that time, had legal right to physically harm her and limit her life choices. To her, it also felt like conditioning for white beauty standards and being conditioned to take care of white children as a housekeeper or maid. But praise God, times have changed. Black entrepreneur Beatrice Wright Burrington created the first black baby dolls in the late 1960s. This woman's joy is probably the healing of a wound of not being able to have a doll that looked like her when she was a child. It's so, so twisted. You, you welcome. You welcome. You got your baby. She's so pretty. She's so pretty, mom. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> she loves her baby. She is free, isn't she? Her name is Dorothy. Oh, gave her hugs and sugar. Look at that. She loves you. She got her a new mama. Look at her. Look what she got. Look what she got. Look, Ma, she got her pacifier in her mouth. Look at that, Ma. Stuck in on her pacifier. <laughs> Look at that. Got her mama. Got her new mama. You got your baby now, mom. <laughs> Look at that baby. That's a beautiful baby. Oh, she love that baby. Oh, look at that baby. <laughs> oh, well, if you like this video so much, I hope you smash that like button. And if you love this content, you better subscribe because more is coming. That said, check out these other playlists in the meantime. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.